It was on this day in 1682 that an astronomer first laid eyes on one of the most famous celestial objects in the solar system. Edmund Halley got a good look at the comet that now bears his name, and then he got to work using a newly discovered field of calculus to figure out its orbit. Halley's Comet and the pronunciation varies depending on who you are talking to or what period of history you're studying is visible from Earth every 76 years. So while the comet is known as Halley's, amateur and professional astronomers have been spotting this one for centuries. In fact, the last time it was in our skies was 1986. Grabbed a lot of people's attention, as you can imagine. Here's our look at the coverage from the time with USM astronomer Roy Gallant. Comets, including Halley's, have long been associated with evil. The poet Homer, writing around 800 BC in the Iliad, said that comets shake down disease, pestilence, and war. Halley's Comet was first recorded in 240 BC by court astronomers of the Chinese Emperor Qi In. Halley's return in the year 1066 was taken as a prophetic sign forecasting the fall of King Harold of England. Harold died in the Battle of Hastings, and the comet was pictured in the famous Bayeux Tapestry commemorating the Norman Conquest. Earlier, the comet had been blamed for the plagues that killed nearly a quarter of Europe's population in the year 530 and again in the year 684. When Halley returned in the year 1222, the powerful Mongol warrior Genghis Khan took it as a sign that he should conquer the world. Silly and tragic events accompanied Halley's return in the year 1910. Enterprising merchants sold comet pills to ward off the evil effects of the comet. A year earlier, in 1909, Mark Twain commented to a friend, I came in with Halley's Comet in 1835. It's coming back next year, and I expect to go out with it. He did go out with it. And that was Roy Gallant. In 1986, there were still people in Maine who remembered when Halley's Comet visited in 1910.